Welcome to Japan November. Do you take your beer with honey apple, peach blossom, or Niagara? Welcome to the final episode of Japan November. Today we've got lemon lager from Hokkaido Brewing based in yeah. This is part of their fruit lager series, which from what I can see ranges from all sorts of fruit grown in the region. Melon, peach, honey apple, cherry and berry, and Niagara. What the fuck? They've been brewing beer since 2002 and love all the amazing fruits you can get in that famous region of Japan. Their website is extremely poorly translated, but here's a few of their more snappier lines that they have to offer. Every beer is a commitment that can be only made by our company. I am committed to loving my local people. Using a safe and safe fruit that can be harvested by contracted farmers inside the pipe. There is only one unchanged feeling. Seriously, carefully. No, I can't like that. Here is their little lemon lager, the cutest little beer I think I've ever seen in my life. Brewed with Satuchi Lemon by Hokkaido Brewing. Again, it's coming in at 5%. Uh, not much else on the bottle. It's got one of those fun little dingus. Uh, let's get this one in a glass and see if it's better than the cat one. Oh! Ow! Here we go. There we are in the glass. Uh, oh, frothy head. Really, really frothy. Tiniest little bubbles, a little bit of carbonation, nice hazy, strawy colour on there too. Nice bit of lacing coming from there too in the glass. That's lovely. Oh fuck. <coughs> Holy Christ. My god, that's lemon. That's lemonade wonder. Oh my god, that just smells like fantastic lemonade. Cheers. Okay. Oh, that has got a smile on my face. My hair's a raisin. My hair's a raisin. That's a hair raising idea. Oh, that is not a beer. Not in a month of Sundays is that a beer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, that is fucking delicious. That tastes like the freshest lemon juice in the, in the region. Put into a crisp and refreshing bubbly lager that's got a little bit of body to it, but there's just a harsh, Bitter lemon, which fades to a lovely sweetness. Tastes like candied lemon at the end of it. It's that kind of thick. Oh, that is refreshing. At 5%, I would get fucking off my lucky cats off that one. I imagine if there are other beers like that, there are other fruit beers, then they are probably winners. As a beer, it's really shocking. But as a drink, Oh my god. <laughs> what a way to finish. With a beer that's not really a beer. Thanks so much for watching this mini series celebrating some of Japan's worst and best non beers. Thanks to Nathan for picking these up. If you find yourself in an amazing country with some cool beers, pick them up and send them my way, and I'll send you a goodie bag full of strawberry laces. If you've had any of these beers before, or if you know of some amazing Japanese breweries that I've got to keep my eye out for, drop me a comment in the comments section below. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Sweet lemonade. Using a safe and safe fruit that can be harvested by contracted farmers inside the pipe.